surfacing from the depths of imagination, I present to you the latest Narwhal Pens creation in the Nautilus collection. In this video, we'll explore every detail of this oversized piston filling fountain pen. Following the nautical themes within the Narwhal brand, the Nautilus pen is named after the soft body cephalopod that lives inside of a hard chambered shell. The animal lives inside the shell's largest chamber, using the other chambers to fill and expel seawater like ballast tanks on a submarine. So it's only appropriate that this Narwhal pen has a large chamber to fill with writing fluid. Nautilus is also the name of the fictional submarine from the Jules Verne novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Written in 1870, Verne's concept of submarines exploring the ocean was still a fantasy. The Nautilus fountain pen has a submarine-like cylindrical profile with rounded ends and three circular portholes in the barrel. These portholes act as ink windows for the writer to monitor the level of ink within the pen. Adding to the steampunk mystique of this design, Narwhal accents the pen with a decorative cap band with the Narwhal brand mark submerged in a wave design pattern. The rounded bar-shaped clip reflects the tubular profile of the pen. At the time of the Nautilus's maiden voyage, two styles are available. This one, which is the bronze Corydoras, and Cephalopod Black, which has black trim. And Chris will show you a picture. Both pens are made from polished black ebonite. Corydoras has an antique bronze trim with a gold-plated nib, while Cephalopod has stealthy black trims and a black ruthenium-plated nib. A third colorful ebonite design called Pelagia Noctiluca will also be available in the near future. To size up the Narwhal Nautilus fountain pen, let's compare it to other large fountain pens like the Scribo Feel, Namiki Emperor, and Platinum Kurikara Ken fountain pens, as well as the Narwhal Original fountain pen. Unscrewing the cap two full turns reveals the Nautilus's tapered grip section and number six size stainless steel nib. For those who already enjoy the original Narwhal or Schoolkill models, the grip section is the same in length, but only differs slightly in a girthier diameter. Narwhal manufactures its nibs in-house with a custom scrollwork design and the Narwhal emblem directly below the breather hole. The nib and plastic feet are friction fit into a nib unit housing that can be unscrewed from the section. At this time, the Nautilus is available in fine, medium, broad, or double broad nib sizes. To fill the ballast tank of the Nautilus fountain pen, the writer unscrews the blind cap to activate the piston mechanism inside the barrel of this pen. The filling instructions are the same as on any piston fill fountain pen, and you can follow a step-by-step -step instruction video by clicking the card above. For the writing sample, I filled this bronze Corydoras Nautilus in medium point with Waterman Mysterious Blue. After taking a dip, I'd like to offer my first impressions of this new fountain pen design. The thicker, weightier design feels substantial in hand. Despite the fact that you cannot post the cap on the back of the pen while writing, the Nautilus has a well-balanced weight. Combined with the large grip area and ebonite material, the Nautilus has a comfortable feel for an oversized pen. The medium point on the stainless steel nib performs beautifully right out of the box. With previous Narwhal models, the nibs tended to write thicker than their size designations. The fine writes more like a medium and a medium more like a broad. This medium, however, writes like a European medium point with an average flow, not too dry or not too wet. I checked with Frank from Narwhal and he confirmed that this new range of nibs conforms more to European sizing conventions. So if you're familiar with the line widths of either a Yovo or Bach nib, Narwhal nibs will be similar now. In contrast to resin or acrylic construction of most modern pens, Narwhal builds the Nautilus out of solid ebonite, a material used in many vintage fountain pens. The difference is one that needs to be experienced firsthand to truly appreciate. It has a warmth that becomes more noticeable the longer you write with it. The downside is that the polished surface is a fingerprint magnet. 
Also, there is a characteristic smell. Ebonite has a slight sulfur smell due to the vulcanization process that will fade over time. While it is not as bad as Noodler's resin pens, ebonite can be offensive to the olfactories after opening the box for the first time. So speaking of the box, the Nautilus is packaged in a white square clamshell gift box with a white outer box sleeve. The narwhal emblem is printed in a reflective silver on the box sleeve with the brand name and model printed on the box lid. Open the magnetic flap to find an invitation style user guide and warranty card. The Nautilus pen is resting on a cutout of white foam. Besides making colorful piston fill fountain pens, Narwhal is also known for producing budget-friendly pens that deliver on value. Since ebonite is more of a costly material than acrylic resin, most pen manufacturers charge a premium for ebonite pens, such is the case for this oversized Nautilus pen. The black ebonite Nautilus starts at $120, while the colorful Pelagia Noctiluca will be sold for $160. You'll be able to find the Narwhal Nautilus on the Goldspot Pens website by using the link in the description below. Since we launched these pens on October the 8th, they quickly disappeared off our shelves. If any particular styles or nib sizes are out of stock, please make sure to sign up for an email in stock notification so we can inform you when more become available. Looking for a pen with more razzle dazzle? Check out the shimmery, sparkling Narwhal Key West fountain pens here. See how to swap a number six nib in your Narwhal pen with a step-by-step -step quick tip video here. Subscribe to the Goldspot Pens channel for more fine writing videos, how-tos, and unboxings here. Thank you for watching and stay inky, my friends. Take care.